This is your 28storms.com cyclone update for the 13th of November. There continue to be no active tropical disturbances near the coast of Australia, but if we move a little bit more toward the east, once again we are noting that the monsoon trough is a little bit more active, especially just to the north of Fiji, where we may have a broad area of low pressure trying to form, and we can see that there is numerous scattered convection located across this area and it's elongated from southeast to northwest and we will simply have to just monitor this entire area for any sign of organization but what has already become apparent is the fact that upper level ridging is starting to build into this area as has been forecast for the last 72 hours and there will be a slight chance of a minimal tropical cyclone formation if we can get some organization but the key to all of that will be whether or not this mid to upper level trough currently located over the Coral Sea remains at bay. And just to reiterate, the upper level conditions around much of Australia are unfavorable. We do have a small pocket of favorable winds aloft over the top end of Australia, but there are no organized tropical disturbances in that area. But if we work our way a little bit more toward the east, this is the general spot where that monsoon trough is draped across the southern Pacific and sure enough we do have marginally favorable conditions in place there and again that is because the upper level ridge is trying to build just to the north of Fiji. This graphic displays the 850 millibar relative vorticity and this just gives us somewhat of an indication as to where an area of low pressure may be about to form and we do see a slight spike in the vorticity just to the north northeast of Fiji so this is the primary spot to watch for at least over the next 12 to 24 hours. The precipitable water animation is also a good method to use for spotting areas of surface convergence or pockets of moisture at the very least. And once again, this is the monsoon trough, and we are beginning to see a little bit better indication of convergence in that same general area where that 850 millibar vorticity spike was located. The following is now the upper air forecast from the GFS model. And this is somewhat of a conducive pattern because as you will soon notice, the mid to upper level trough is forecast to remain generally to the south of the area that we are closely watching. And as we advance this into the first 48 hours of the forecast, we do have a little bit more in the way of upper level ridging trying to build in from the east this time. And again, this is stemming very close to the Samoas, but the problem is that this upper level ridge is not going to continue moving westward. And instead, we will more than likely continue to face at least a little bit in the way of northerly wind shear on the western periphery of this ridge. So again, anything will be very short-lived and pretty much non-significant even if it were to form. Furthermore, and you know, this is subject to change, but as of right now, the Tropical Cyclone Center in Fiji is not anticipating any tropical development over the next 72 hours. And finally, this is a quick look at the Indian Ocean. There are no organized tropical disturbances at this time and we are not anticipating any development in the Indian Ocean throughout the forecast period. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to check out 28storms.com slash cyclone. It's a one-stop shop for all of the most relevant cyclone information available on the internet. It's all compiled into one web page. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with these videos as soon as they are published, you can go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That is youtube.com slash 28cyclones.